ChatGPT, Google Bard, Bing Chat, and Snapchat AI, which is the best for Roblox Studio scripting? Each AI will face off in three challenges, easy, medium, and hard. The first challenge is a simple kill brick. Let's see which AIs can do it. We will be using the same prompt for each AI. This is the prompt I'm using for every AI. Looks like ChatGPT is off to a strong start, and it looks like this script is going to work. Let's go ahead and copy the code and try it out. So let's go ahead and create our part. Let's go ahead and change up the size, put it right there, and insert a script. Inside the script, let's go ahead and paste in the code and hit play here. Okay, let's see if this part kills us. And it does kill us, so ChatGPT gets a pass. ChatGPT has earned itself a check mark. Now it's Google Bard's turn. Okay, Google Bard is loaded up. Let's paste in the prompt. So immediately it says, I'm a text based AI, it's out of my capabilities. Let's ask it to generate the code. I said, I'm just asking you to generate the code. And it looks like it's not reading what I just said. I'm gonna say a Roblox Studio script. And then I paste it in, the script will be placed in the workspace. So it looks like it keeps saying, I can't help you with that, even though it just told me it can code. So I guess that's a fail for Google Bard. I didn't expect any of the AIs to fail the first one, but looks like that's an X for Google. Now let's try Bing Chat. I'm gonna keep the conversation style on more balanced. Now let's go ahead and ask it the prompt. I pasted in the exact same prompt. Let's see what it says. This one is definitely taking the longest to respond right now, and for some reason it's searching, but I think it did provide a proper script. On top of that, it also linked its sources, and these are reliable sources. I created the part. Let's go ahead and put in the script. The script is in. Let's go ahead and play here. Let's see if this part kills us. And it does kill us, so that's gonna be a pass for Bing Chat. That's gonna be a nice big check mark for Bing. Now let's try Snapchat AI. So here we have Snapchat's My AI. Let's go ahead and paste it in the prompt. And now let's see what it says. So it thinks it's against Roblox TOS to create a kill break script. Maybe the wording is a little bit off. Let's try and reword this. So instead of setting the health to zero, I asked it to set the health to one and it actually sent me a script. So let's go ahead and try this script. I am gonna give Snapchat a little bit of leeway here and change this one to a zero. And now let's try and play here. Okay, let's go and touch the part. And it also does kill me. So I really don't wanna do it, but it's gonna be a pass for Snapchat AI. Only Google failed this round. I really did not expect that from Google. All right, guys, it's time for the medium round. In this round, AIs will be required to create a sprinting script. I'm gonna go ahead and create the prompt. And just in case, I am starting a brand new chat. This time I went for a little bit of a different approach. I said code instead of make. We'll see if this makes a difference for Google later. Looks like ChatGPT went above and beyond, even though I didn't ask it to. I think it's going to reset the speed once I leave the part. It also says save the local script, even though I told it it's going to be a script. And the problem with this is local scripts don't work in the workspace, but we're gonna try this anyway. Let's go ahead and create a part in here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just because it's a sprinting script and ChatGPT made it really weird. It pains me to create a local script in workspace but we're gonna do it anyway now let's go ahead and hit play here okay let's see if it works and for some reason it's not working at all that was really unexpected from chat gpt but it's going to be a fail you helped me out a lot in school but i guess studio is not your strong suit now let's see if google can redeem themselves i pasted in the prompt and now let's see what it says what sucks is i have to connect to the vpn each time because i live in canada but we are connected, let's try this out. So Google Bard gave us a lot of stuff, let's look through it. That was actually the wrong prompt, let's go ahead and try this again. And that's the correct prompt this time. Why is it loading for so long? This is a really simple script. Okay, here we go. And looks like it's not doing anything extra. However, the problem is it's a local script. It doesn't say what kind of script to use, so we're gonna try this script out anyway. I pasted in the code from Google Bard. Now let's hit play here. Okay, let's see if it works. And as expected, it does not work. I pasted the code into a regular script this time, and now let's hit play here again. And and it doesn't work. The reason this doesn't work is because we set player to something that doesn't exist and then we're checking if the character model is equal to the player. So this wouldn't work anyway even if local scripts worked in the workspace. I wanted to give Google the benefit of the doubt but they really failed that one. It is now Bing Chat's turn. Let's see what it does. I think this is the first script that's going to work for the medium challenge. Let's go and try it out. I pasted in the code and let's hit play here. Okay the moment of truth and it is working so great job Bing Chat. Bing Chat is the first to win the medium round. Now let's see if snapchat ai can do it i have snapchat ai loaded up again let's go ahead and paste the prompt in the prompt is in let's see what it says it actually gave me the script really quickly let's try this out it's also being really extra like chat gpt and making it so you stop sprinting when you let go i pasted in the code from snapchat ai now let's try and play so to their credit it's actually working but i didn't ask for it to stop making me sprint when i let go what if i wanted to make a little speed pad to give you a speed boost permanently i think instead of going above and beyond they should have really listened to me however it 
did work, so they do get a check mark. I did not expect Bing and Snapchat to do this well. I thought it would all be Google and ChatGPT. But regardless, let's go ahead and give ChatGPT its third challenge. So I typed out this really wordy prompt. Code a Roblox script that counts the number of seconds in between a player touching two parts. So basically what I'm asking it to do is count how long it takes for me to go from this part to this part. And then I went a little technical about where the scripts are located just to make sure it gets it right. Let's go ahead and try it out. So for some reason it thinks local scripts can run in the workspace, but since it's the final challenge, I'll tell it that they can't. I said local scripts don't work in the workspace, and it said you're absolutely right, I apologize for the oversight. So this script is actually parented to the starter character, let's go ahead and try it out. That's definitely not how I would have coded this, but let's see if it works. I created a local script in starter character scripts, and we'll see what happens. I created part 1, and I created part 2. Let's go ahead and and hit play here. For some reason it says timer started even though I haven't touched the part yet. But if I do touch the part and then walk over to this one, it doesn't print anything. This one is kind of complicated so I'll use its first script. I'm talking about the first one right here. The interesting thing about this is that it didn't use this player variable that it created throughout the entire script. So this could have easily been a server script. Let's try it out. I created this folder, put in both parts and the script. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Don't worry about this error, that's from the other script. I went ahead and touched the part. And now we're going to touch a second one, and it does not print anything. Let's actually analyze the code. I am going to delete this line just in case it was messing it up. I'm also going to delete the old script, and I'm going to give it a second chance. Not sure why I printed timer started, even though I didn't touch the part. And of course, it didn't print anything. I really wanted ChatGPT to win that one, but it's going to be a loss. Now it's Google's turn again. Of course, once again, we have to connect to the United States. And now that we're connected, let's try it out. I pasted in my amazing prompt, and let's see what it does. I think that one took the longest to work, but it actually gave us a pretty good script. For some reason, it thinks both parts are in the workspace again, but that's okay. Now I do have to end the VPN or else Roblox Studio will crash again. And let's try this one again. I'm just going to duplicate both parts, put them there, and drag them over here. Now we have part one and part two inside workspace. So this one actually looks pretty good. I haven't gone through it too thoroughly, but we'll see if it works. I pasted the code in. Let's see what happens. I am disabling this script from ChatGPT because it's not printing anything useful. We're in the game. I touched the first part. And now I'm going to wait a little bit and the second one, it did not print anything. So it does look like it's using a local script. I think we're going to have to make this into a local script and put it in another folder. Let's put this script in starter player scripts and convert it to a local script. Now it's a local script and it might work. I pressed on play here and we're in. I touched the first part and now the second one and nothing printed. Let's go ahead and analyze that script again. So we have workspace.part1 and part2 and we have os.clock. I would have used tick but it's an okay way of doing it. So this is where the issue actually is. I think if I were to just change this up a little bit, the issue here was hit.parent is the player's character and this is the player's player. Remember, that's two different things. The character is in workspace and the player is under players, so it's not going to run this code. And because I want the code to actually run, I am going to change it up and try again. I touched the first part and now the second one and it actually works. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. I touched the first part. Now we're just going to wait a little bit longer and then see what happens. Okay, it's been a couple seconds. Let's touch it and it actually printed seven. So this script is actually working. Working. I know it took some tweaking, but it's not looking too good for Google right now, so I'm gonna give it to them. And that's why I always say these AI tools are amazing if you know how to script. They can actually save so much time. Now it's Bing's turn. The prompt is in. Let's see what it says. So I think this AI actually uses the internet instead, but then it takes the results and puts it into its own words. The only issue I'm seeing with this one is it doesn't check if it's a player that touched the part, because parts can touch other parts. However, I am gonna try the code. We're just gonna delete Google script this time, and now let's try. Let's take both parts and move them over here now. Let's create a script in the workspace and paste the code in and let's give this a shot. Okay, the first part has been touched. Now it's going to wait a couple seconds and it doesn't print anything as expected. So we're going to have to go ahead and give Bing an X on this one. There's no way that Snapchat is going to be the only AI that makes it through with three wins. All right, guys, it's time to see if Snapchat can make it through with three wins. The prompt is in. Let's see what happens. So this is actually the only AI that was able to understand what I meant by being in the same folder. But even with that, I don't think it's going to work. Let's see what happens. I moved both of the parts over and I'm going to put the script in the same folder as these parts. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change up the script to Snapchat script. Now let's see what happens. It's taking a long time to apply the script edits here. Not sure what's going on. I have double checked I disconnected from the VPN, so we'll see what happens. 
I think Studio is against Snapchat winning this. And not gonna lie, I am too. It finally loaded after a lot of waiting. Let's see what happens. If I had to wait that long for it not to work, that's just dumb. Okay, guys, it's the moment of truth. I touched the part. Now let's go and touch the second one. If this works, my mind will be blown. So it doesn't exactly work. Let's see if there's a really simple fix that doesn't count as cheating. I think this will be as simple as deleting this part right here and then changing a little bit on this line. So I only changed a little bit. Let's see if it works. Again, it's taking a long time. Maybe the internet just dropped out. Okay, it's finally loading in. Let's hope I don't have to do that again. So I touched the first one and it's actually telling me the elapsed time. Now let's see what happens if I touch the second part. I did touch it, but I think I deleted a little bit too much code. Okay, I left this stuff back in and I'm just gonna change this. That means all I changed in this entire script is this part. Alright guys, we're in for the final time. Let's see if it works. I touched the first part and it's good that it's not printing anything. Let's see if the timer's working. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and... Okay, that sucks. So I think Snapchat is gonna have to take an L on this one. I really, really wanted them to take the W, but it's whatever. So this is what the final board looks like. If you wanna use a AI for scripting, I still recommend ChatGPT over the other ones. It's just a lot better at understanding what you said before in the conversation, it learns faster, and it's just easier to use. This video took hours to create, so if you did enjoy, please subscribe to show your support. See ya!